Hello, welcome to Open World Forum's Web TV 2012. We're here with uh, Phil Odense, VP Business Development of Black Duck. Welcome, Phil. Hey, thanks a lot. How are you? I'm very good, and you? I'm, I'm doing well today. So, uh, Black Duck, what, what does exactly Black Duck do? Uh, we provide services and products helping companies to manage their developers' use of open source. We're big fans of using open source. We think it's uh, an absolute necessity in software development today but a lot of companies do it without having the processes and policies in place to do it safely, and so we, we help with those kinds of problems. And in, in, what, uh, in what industry or sector gr exactly do you work with? Uh, any industry is using software. How's that? Is that broad enough? <laughs> and, and in terms of clients, is it more with big clients? Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good question. I, uh, our, uh, the, the companies we work with really fall into two big buckets, if you will. One is companies that uh, use software as part of products they develop, either ISVs or systems companies, and then also companies that develop software for their internal use in their, in their IT groups. Mostly we work with bigger companies. I mean, we think it's, it's very important for companies of any size to have policies and processes to govern their use of open source, but bigger companies really need to automate it in order to be efficient, and that's, that's where we come in. That's where our products are used to automate uh, the processes for, for governing use of open source. And, and what's the advantage of open source actually in your line of business? What, just what kind of well, added I think value it's, does it bring? Yeah, it's our, the, the value for us is really the value for any company that, that is leveraging open source. It's to get more innovation, uh, to get more uh, bang for your buck, as we say in the U.S., uh, to get more out of your software investment by uh, not reinventing the wheel, not redeveloping components that already exist and have been tested and been used, and, and really using open source and doing so safely enables companies to focus their resource on resources on innovation and on developing you know, value-added, differentiating sort of features rather than the simple pieces they might get from open source. And uh, with Open World Forum, Black Duck has been associated since the very beginning. So what? I, I think so. We've at least sponsored. We're sponsoring this year, and we've sponsored at least for the last several years. Yes. And you have you had some speaking engagements here. You you ran a. Uh, yeah, I had a panel. A yeah, a panel earlier today on communities. One of the things that we're very interested in, and we're seeing a lot of, is what we're calling super communities, which are uh, groups of companies within a, a vertical like. Uh, automotive or, or financial or education or, or um, uh, the marine world now is, uh, is developing some super communities. Uh, and so I, I ran a panel on super communities in embedded systems. We work a lot with embedded systems companies. We had representatives from uh, uh, Airbus, from uh, 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 Vallejo, a fellow who works on Geneva, which is one of the super communities. The Airbus guy works on PolarSys. Uh, we had fellows from the Eclipse Foundation, and I'm probably forgetting some of my panel members, but we had a very interesting panel. I'm also speaking, there, there's a, uh, a group called uh, uh, EOLE, the European Open Source Lawyers event, uh, which has been going for about four years, and they're, they're running in parallel with, with Open Source World, so that's one of the tracks tomorrow. Uh, it's tomorrow, it's part of, of, uh, of the event here Yeah, tomorrow. it's one of the tracks, and I'll be talking about uh, mergers and acquisitions. A lot of, uh, par part of our business is helping companies that are acquiring other companies to uh, see what they're getting. Many smaller companies don't have good control over what's in their software, and so we work with companies uh, to make sure they know what software assets they're buying and who owns them. And uh, we'll be talking, I'll be talking tomorrow uh, about uh, mer best practices in, in technical due diligence in the US. And then uh, there'll be a fellow who's an attorney, uh, f uh, a French attorney, talking about mergers and acquisitions in, uh, in Europe. And we'll be sort of comparing and contrasting. Do you have any knowledge in, in this for, for, for the European system or? Yeah, I, you know, I think in general, um, uh, doing due diligence specifically around open source is more uh, de rigueur, if you will. And we're, you know, it's, I think Europe is a little bit behind the US in, in this respect, but uh, I'll, I'll learn more tomorrow with my French colleague. We'll see if he agrees with that. Well, good luck for tomorrow. And thank you very much for being here today with us. Yeah, thank you. It's been great. Thank you. Cheers.